Oh yeah. What do you think? This thing is so cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Woo! Hello and welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to David's Garage. Today I'm making a short video of my 1962 Morris Mini Countryman. This is such a ridiculous car. I'm surprised that they're even built, but I'm happy they were because this is just way too cool. So this one is a 62, so it has a smooth roof. I guess the smooth roofs do have a vibration that people complain about. And in 65, they introduced the rib roof. Also being a 62, it has the ice pick door handles as well as pre-cut front valence and external fuel tank. In 1960 and 61, they had an internal fuel tank and I guess people complained about breathing in fuel fumes, so they changed that. <laughs> Imagining that happen today, that would be insane. But it is, it's very original, very complete. It's basically all original paint except for the door and the one fender. The door they painted with a completely different green, but the fender is actually almost unnoticeable. And it is, it is very cool. I bought this a few years ago out of Calgary. It was actually bought new in Calgary. There's still the dealership sticker on the back. Hopefully I can uh, dial in on that. It's sold by Cook Motors in Calgary. Very cool. And of course, the Calgary Zoo sticker from 86. You ought to be a member. <laughs> Not funny, but I'm probably going to keep that sticker. <laughs> kind of a cool little part of its history. It was, I guess, parked in 1988. And yeah, it hasn't ran since. And I took the valve cover off, and it's pretty crusty under there, so I don't think I'll be getting it running that easily anyway. But yeah, what are my plans for the car? Well, I was kind of thinking of maybe putting a 1275 in, but I really think a car this original should almost stick with the 850 and then just see the charm of the 850. My other Mini has a 1275, so I know, I know how that runs and drives, but I've never driven an 850 Mini, and I think that would be hilarious, especially with the magic wand shifter. I'll show you that. Yeah, it's very cool. The interior is all original except for the seats. The front seats I don't have, and of course I just threw this one in for moving the Mini and sitting in it. But yeah, we have a um, single gauge pod, which I get a kick out of. It's just the um, odometer, speedometer, and fuel gauge. No temperature, no tack, no oil pressure. None of that stuff you don't need. The Countryman's were deluxes as well. As far as I know, these were kind of the most expensive minis in 1961 or 62. And this means they had not only a driver's side sun visor, ooh, but also a passenger side sun visor. Fancy. They also had, I might be a little too dark in here, but they had ashtrays in each corner. And then the chrome trim as well. It's actually quite a bit of chrome in this car. What I mean by the chrome trim is the chrome here and then on the outside of the car as well. It's kind of gone, but you can see where the screws were for kind of a chrome trim around that sill. And yeah, it had wing mirrors as well, which is kind of cool. I have them, but they, unfortunately, they are wrecked. But yeah, I'm totally probably not even going to polish this car actually. I'm definitely just going to leave it. There's a little bit of rust starting, but yeah, it's only original once and it just looks, it looks so cool. I'd like a different color door though, <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, it is just way too cool. It's got the original windshield, which doesn't have any cracks. It's kind of cool. It's not even splitting actually. And then of course you notice in my intro, the sliding windows, which I get such a kick out of front window slide and then the rear window slide as well. You can slide this window forward or this one back. And then the seat, I'll see if it's uh, not too dark in here. Of course you have like the barn door style doors open up in the middle. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. But yeah, so the trunk space is actually surprising for a car like this. 
the seat folds down and then yeah it's pretty much flat you actually have a little bit of room in here I could see these being actually surprisingly handy back in the day but yeah it's such a such a goofy little unit so here is the engine bay this is an 850 Morris engine a series early early engine still has the original metal oil cap and I do believe this to be the original engine. The starter and generator have date stamps of 62. So I would think it's original. Um, there's a few parts missing you'll notice and that uh, the previous owner took those off for his own Mini that he was driving. And yeah, I do have most of the goodies, but I'll take the oil cap off and show you what I was talking about earlier. It's very crusty in there. So my plan would be to either use this engine, take it apart and restore it, but I would like to keep the original patina look, so to speak, or yeah, find another 850. And then take this out with the subframe and just totally leave it, don't touch it. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. It's uh, Minis are easy enough to swap stuff out, so just would be cool. And yeah, like a nice straight front. The grill, I think has been replaced at one point but the bumper would be original. And then this side has an original Lucas headlight and the other side does not. I still have to find one of those. But the, uh, this is almond green, by the way. It's actually a really nice, really nice 60s color. I love it. My other mini's tartan red and the original red is kind of a nice old school red as well. And this is a kind of a similar tone, kind of a pastel color. But yeah, it is, but it's very original. Like this is two of 62. And then you got the metal cap on the brake and clutch thing as well. Yeah, just overall, just such a cool little car. I can't can't get enough of it. I mean, it, it's going to be a big project. It's sat for such a long time and it's going to need pretty much everything. But I'm happy that, you know, it's a solid original car. It doesn't really need rust work. There's a bit of rust starting in the floor corners. And I think I might patch that and blend the paint, but be kind of cool to say you know it's never been touched either so and I don't think yeah, from now on I'm not gonna drive in the salt or anything so it's probably not gonna get rustier I put some oil on all the rust spots as well to well hopefully protect it a little bit anyway just way too cool <laughs> I think it's the original wood as well it, you can tell there's a few spots it's been sanded and um, yeah they probably put some oil on it some varnish I guess and yeah otherwise it's yeah it's such a cool unit I'll hop in the back seat for you and show what uh, show what that's like so I'm in the back seat area here nice and original you can tell there is no seat belts which is kind of funny safety was not an issue back in the day and yeah you just grab this here to fold the front seat back and then you'll get access to the battery tray and then there's these little pins on either side, much like a shed door lock <laughs> that you can fold the uh, rear seats down. And ooh, look at all that room. It's actually honestly surprising how much room there is for how small the car is. But then of course, yeah, there's no, no crash bar or anything, right? That's all, it's all as much space as possible. It's a great design, but if you get in an accident, well, you might not be too happy. Yeah, this is what it looks like from the other angle. This little opening here is, of course, for the spare wheel. That's actually pretty solid as well. It's kind of cool. And then little shock towers. Got a 1962 Alberta plate back there. But what a ridiculous little car. For scale, I put in a 15 inch BMW wheel and the trunk is, well, it's almost full. You could probably fit two or three <laughs> and that's it. That is actually hilarious. There's another few early kind of cool features about this car. The key you just put in and then it's one switch. So you just turn it on and then there's actually a floor starter right here that you push to start it. And of course you have the switches. One turns the wipers on and off, and then the other turns the lights on. 
you can probably pick it up. They're super loud. Very high quality switches. This is a pneumatic pump here, and that's actually for the washer. You actually have to pump this by hand to, yeah, to spray the windshield, which is hilarious. This is the heater cable. This one is an air vent. And then I think this is the choke. Originally these cars never really had radios, but they were optioned probably from the dealership. But yeah, it's very cool. I hope you guys enjoy. It's kind of a ridiculous car and it's one of those cars that I absolutely love. <laughs> Especially being, yeah, Fatina and original. This is just right up my alley. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, thanks for watching. Way too cool. This is just way too cool. It is very cool. Very cool. Cool. The inch is kind of cool. It looks so cool. Just way too cool. We're all just such a cool little car. It just would be cool. Be kind of cool. Just way too cool. What do you think? This thing is so cool. <laughs> yeah, it is.